Hi everyone, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. I'm happy to have you. In today's video, we are going to do a really quick recap of my last budget cycle, which was from um, March 22nd to April 4th. And we're going to be setting up my new budget for the new uh, pay cycle, which will run from April 5th through April 18th. So if you're interested in that, I hope you'll stay tuned. Okay, so really quick, I messed up right here. It's all, my eraser is all ugh, icky. Um, so don't mind that. I did a, um, I just went through really quickly my um, budget from the last pay cycle. My income and my bills stay the same because I am a, um, a bi-weekly budgeter. By the time it's uh, time for me to prepare my next, for my next pay cycle or my next next budget cycle, I already have my bills that I'm going to pay. So I already know how much they are. So these income, the income and the bills don't change. Um, neither do the savings or the sinking funds. Um, pretty much only my expenses. So the last pay cycle we budgeted, uh, normally I do 300 for groceries and we did 400 just because uh, I included Easter, not dinner because we usually go to my mom's house. Um, and so I just bring usually desserts and, um, like a side dish. So I had money, extra money put aside for that. And, um, so we used $350. So $50 more than what we would usually spend in groceries is not bad. So we had, um, we came in under there for fuel. We came under, I only spent 40 where I had budgeted 60. For food fun, I budgeted 60 and we spent 60. And for miscellaneous, I budgeted 60 and we spent 53. So once those totals are brought down here, subtracted, um, subtracted from this balance, and then we go through and subtract our savings and our sinking funds, we are left with $77, which is how much I should have here. So let's just take out, this is my grocery money. So I have $50. My fuel money, I had $20 because we only spent $40 instead of $60. Food fund, there's nothing. And then in miscellaneous, we spent $53 out of $60, so I have $7 left. So total, I have $20, $40, $60, $70, $75, $76, $77. And so we have $77 in rollover money. So I'm just going to put that here in my rollover envelope. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. I feel like every time I get on here to do um, like a budget, I just like jump right in. You guys, I can't, I have no words to describe how excited I get on paydays. <laughs> I'm just like so excited. Like for me, it's Thursday night. I can already see the deposit in my bank account. I want to get my budget done so that I can go to the bank tomorrow um, and pull out my cash. I'm just, it makes me so happy. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that for those of you who are watching, you get it, you get it. So anyways, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to do my budget, <laughs> which I never thought I would be this way. Hey, I've, I always thought like budgets are so, are so restrictive and you can't have any fun or anything like that. But you guys, I love it and I don't find it restrictive once. Okay, so I have been budgeting for a year. I started in March of 2023. I think I uploaded my first video in April, maybe May. I can't remember. I should probably should have looked, but it's been a year about since um, I think I posted my first video, but it was, it took me a while to get into a good rhythm of doing my budget. And it, it honestly took me a while to figure out where my numbers should be. Um, so yeah, once, once, if you're a beginning budgeter, once you get over that little hump of trying to figure out what you can work with and, you know, what money you need, what money you, you know, how much you need in certain envelopes, 
then it's like, it's actually like, I feel better. Like I'm like, I can look at my envelope and go, Oh, I have cash. I can buy that little craft supply or, you know, more pens for those of you who, who know I have a pen problem. Um, but anyways, I just find my budget is just, I feel like it allows me to do things, you know? Um, so anyways, I hope you guys are well. I don't mean to just jump right in, but I'm just so excited. Um, it is, like I said, it is Thursday night for me, Thursday, April 4th. My payday is April 5th and I get paid bi-weekly every other Friday. So um, this is where we landed for my last pay cycle. Um, so now I'm going to get my iPad so that we can work through the numbers for our next, um, for our next pay cycle. Okay, so my payday for this one is going to be April 5th. And then my budget cycle will run from April 5th through April 18th. And that is because in my budget, where am I for April? I have a little sticky note here for myself. Um, so I get paid here on the 5th. And so my budget will go all the way to the 18th because my next payday is the 19th. So that's how I, um, that's how I do that. <laughs> I don't even know how, what that's called. Okay, so my income is going to be me and I am at 1646 this time. Um, and I think... I'm not paying my visa because I just paid it. So that should be my only income. Oh no, my rollover. Let's do rollover. Because that is going to be allocated into my budget. And I had $77. So my income is $16.46 plus $77. I don't even know. Okay. $16.46 plus $77. So $17.23 is what we are working with, okay? So then for my bills, we'll go over to my calendar and for this payday on April 5th, let's just get a color. Um, so we are going to be working with my April 5th. I don't wanna do, that's too close to orange. Oh, please. Here I am being undecisive yet again. Okay, so let's do blue. Okay, so we're going to be doing my payday on April 5th. And with this paycheck, I'm going to highlight the bills in this color that I'm going to pay with this paycheck. So that's going to be my gas, which is my um, for heating my house, my water, and my internet. Because then the rest of my bills will pay for... Actually, I'll go ahead and just budget out my phone insurance as well. So then the check that I get on the 19th will cover these three bills and then the few beginning bills for the for um, March. I mean, April, May. Okay. Anyways, so for now, we're just going to worry about one, two, three, four bills. Okay. Um, and for those of you who are new here, I don't budget my husband's income. Um, so you're not, you don't see that in my budget, but his income... Um, we use to pay the mortgage and car insurance and things like that, which are not part of this. Okay, so bills, we're going to do my gas. And that is $41. My water, which is $74. My internet. And that is $125. And then my phone insurance for me. And that's only $4. Okay. So um, another thing you won't see in my budget is change. I don't like change. I like whole numbers. I just feel like it looks cleaner. And um, yeah, I don't like to mess with change. So for my numbers, when it's my income, I round down to the nearest dollar. So, um, like if my, if my income was 1646 and 57 cents, 
even though technically I, you know, what you're taught in school, if it's five or more, you round up. I always round my income down. So it's $16.46. For my bills, like my gas is like $41 and change. I'm, um, actually my gas was $40 and like 74 cents or something like that. So I round up. So there, that little bit of change kind of sits in my checking account, like a teeny tiny little buffer. So, um, Anything that's outgoing is rounded down and anything that's incoming, no, anything that's outgoing is rounded up and anything that's incoming is rounded down all to the nearest dollar. Okay. Oh, alrighty. So my bills total 41 plus 74 plus 125 plus four. So my bills total 244. So if I take 1723 minus 244, I get 1,479, okay. Um, for groceries, we're gonna go ahead and do our normal 300, cause that seems to work for us. Um, fuel, I'm gonna do 60. Food fun, I'm gonna do 60. And miscellaneous, I'm gonna do 60. Um, and actually this has been working out. I'm kind of like, you know what, I think, I think I'm gonna put food fun. Ooh, that's a big erase. Hold on, let me get a smaller eraser. I think I'm gonna put food fun up to 80 and leave miscellaneous at 60, which are still good numbers for me because when I originally started, I was doing 100. 100 to food fun and 100 to miscellaneous. And when I brought it down to 60, we were doing fairly well. So um, we're gonna do, we're gonna do this time these numbers this go around and see how we do so 300 plus 60 plus 80 plus 60 and that's even 500 so we're gonna take this 1000 over here 1479 minus 500 and that's gonna leave us with 979 and then um, let me just write in here faith Friday Okay, so for my mini Mondays, I'm gonna give myself 100. And for Faith Fridays, I'm gonna give myself 100 um, because I do 50 each time. So um, since I'm on a bi-weekly budget, I have two Mondays, so I do two, two mini Mondays at $50 each. And then I have two Fridays, so I do two Faith Fridays at $50 each. And then my 100 envelope, I usually use my rollover money so we're it looks like we're going to be stuffing envelope number 77 and I, i'm not sure you guys how i want to do my budget going forward because i really um i really want to start playing games like i watch videos and people are playing games and it looks like so much fun but i don't know where to pull extra money from to play those games so <laughs> I feel like the little kid on the playground that's just standing on the side watching everybody play. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, I'm having <laughs> dramatic flashbacks. Okay. So, anyways, I these things might change going forward if I figure out a way to find money to play games. So, anyways, so for now my savings total two seventy seven. So if I take 979 minus 277, I have 702 left. And that means that's how much I have to put towards my sinking funds, okay? So we're gonna swipe over to my sinking fund page. And I always forget to tell you too, for those of you who are new, um, these worksheets that I use are all available in my Etsy shop and you can download them as a PDF. If you have an iPad, you can get the GoodNotes app. It's free and then you can just import your PDF into GoodNotes, which is what I do. And then you can just use them over and over again. So anyways, if you have any questions about that, just leave them in the comments and um, I'll try my best to explain it. Um, or maybe... Maybe I could do a video. Maybe I'll think about doing a video if any of you are interested in how that works. Okay, so in my priority section, we start with giving. 
and giving is going to get 165. Um, extra debt is going to get 110. Ionizer 60. Month ahead 35. And then for my children, my children, the little kiddos who are not kiddos anymore. Um, let's see. We do our we do our roll the dice challenge. So, um, we are going to roll one dice to see how many times we roll, and then we'll see what we roll. And then this this tracker, once it's done, is two hundred dollars, and it's going to each of my kids. So whatever we roll will be, in essence, multiplied by three so that I can give to each of my three kids. Um, and I, I'm going to do one of two things. Um, I'll give the money to them at the end of, towards the end of the year, probably like November, so they have a little bit of money for Christmas, or I will use the money to spend on them for Christmas. I think that's what I'm going to do. But I was also thinking, once I'm done with this challenge, maybe I'll stop doing this and maybe I'll do games for them instead. I don't know. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Okay, so we're going to roll once to see how many times we roll. So we're rolling one time. You guys? Okay. The last time we rolled six and I, that was a lot. Okay, so do I roll again? Do I just, do I just leave them sick? One roll? Okay. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I don't want to do six again. So we'll just stick with one. <laughs> I'm cheating, but it's my own game. It's okay. Okay, so they're each going to get $3. See, now I feel bad. Why don't we do this? Why don't we roll three times? Because then I feel bad if I only give them $3. Okay, so they're going to get four. See, you guys, we can cheat a little bit. And it's not really cheating. It's our money, right? It's our money. We can do with it what we want. Um... And it's still being saved. Okay, so we're going to roll. Okay, so we got four. And then one. And then two. Okay, so we're going to give them each $7. That's better than $3, right? Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's better than, than $3. Okay. All right, so they're going to get $3 each. Um, I mean, $7 each. So let's put this back. I think last time they got like twenty nine dollars. Seven, seven, and seven. What did they get last time? Last time. Oh, the last time they each got twenty six dollars. That was a lot, you guys. That was like seventy something dollars. Um. Okay. So in my priority, then we have. 165 plus one, oops, 165 plus 110 plus 60 plus 35 plus 21. 391. Okay, and then um, as you may or may not know as well, I was putting $5 to each of my revolving envelopes because I was doing I was sa doing savings challenges as part of my mini Mondays for my revolving. I'm not doing that anymore. I pulled out all of my um, revolving sinking funds from my mini Monday envelope and I'm just going to stuff these categories like I normally used to do. Um, and then I've kept my long-term sinking funds as part of my mini Monday savings challenges. Okay, that was a lot as well. But if you guys have been following me and been here for a while, you know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. Okay, so hobbies, I'm going to give 20. Um, beauty, I'm going to give... Let's see. I just bought... Yeah, I just bought what I needed. So beauty, I'm going to give 10. Clothes, nothing. Gifts, nothing. Pool supplies, I'm going to go ahead and give 20. And the puppers, I'm going to give 10. And Faithful Dash, I'll give 10. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70 here. 
Okay, and then in my long term, I'm just gonna give everybody five because like I said, these are funded as part of my mini Monday savings challenges. So whenever those are done, they'll just get put into here. Um, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's $35. Okay, and then in my annuals, Auto Club is going to get 10, Truck Tags 7, my escrow account is going to get 15, Taxes 15, Costco 7, Dog Tags 10, Infinity 5, and Canva 5. So I think this total is 74, but let's just make sure. 10, 7, 37, 20. Yep, $74. Okie dokie. So where does that leave us? 391 plus 70 plus 35 plus 74 equals 570. And we had 702. So is that right? 702 minus 570. So we have $132. Okay. So is that right? 391 plus 70 plus 35 plus 74 equals 570. 570. So 702 minus 570. We have $132. So what should we do, you guys? Should we start putting money aside for games and then just tuck that away in case I decide I want to play games? Shall we? Yes, let's, in case I decide that's what I want to do. And then if I don't want to play games, then I'll just stuff the money somewhere. Not somewhere, but into a fund. Um, but for now, why don't we go ahead and take out $100? Just because we have it. And then erase these and make that $377. Okay, so then if we do the $979 Minus 377, that gives us 602. Oops, 602. And then from my sinking, we have 570. So 32 in a buffer, yes? Sound good? Okay, so 404 through 418. And we're going to have 570 going into sinking funds. 570, 602 minus 570. So we'll have a $32 buffer. Okay. So 32 buffer. Okay. And then, okay, I don't like the way that looks at all. Um, buffer. Okay, so then if I go through and highlight, I need 500, I need this 100, I need these hundreds, and then I also need 570 for my sinking funds. Okay, so I need 500 plus 377 plus 570. So I need 1447, that seems like a lot. <clears throat> Doesn't that seem like a lot? I feel like that's a lot. 500 plus 300 plus 570. 1370. Okay. Oh, because I added the 77, which I don't need because it's rollover. See, I forgot to put rollover here. Oops. And then I forgot to erase. Rollover. Just so I can remind myself that I don't need that. Okay. 500 plus 300, plus 570, 1370, okay. I don't like the way that looks, you guys. Do you guys ever get like really particular about your handwriting and then you just have to erase it until it looks right? Okay, so I need 1370 in cash. Okay, so I am going to go put all of this onto my paper budget and then I'll be right back and we'll just go through my cash breakdown really quickly. Okay, hold please. 
Okay, I'm back. So I put everything from my iPad onto my paper budget. Um, and one of the reasons that I do that is I start on my iPad so that I can make changes until I like it and then I put it on paper and I put it on paper so that I could swipe this way and do my cash breakdown without having to swipe back and forth um, between the pages. But I really do like having a paper budget just so that I can just so that I can save it and look back on things. Um, okay, so we are going to do my cash breakdown really quickly. Um, let's see, for groceries, I have 300. For fuel, I have 60. Food fund, 80. Miscellaneous, 60. And then going over to the next page. Oh, I forgot to do that. Hold, please. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have put everything here now. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, so getting back to this, my giving is getting 165, 110, ionizer 60, month ahead 35. The kids are each gonna get seven. Hobbies is 20. Beauty is 10. Pull supplies is 20. Puppers is 10. Faithful Dash is 10. And then coming over here, these are all uh, long term, so they're all going to get $5 because these are part of my mini Monday savings challenges. Um, Auto Club is going to get 10, Truck Tag 7, Best Girl 15, Taxes 15, so Costco 7, Dog Tags 10, Infinity Tags 5, and Canva 5, Mini Mondays. Um, Mini Mondays, going back here, is going to get 100. Faith Friday is also going to get 100. And then Games is going to get 100. And like I said, I'm not sure yet how that's going to work out because I don't always have extra money like this. And I want to do like a consistent thing. I don't want to just do a game night and just throw it in wherever, which I guess I could, right? Um, so we'll see, we'll see how that works out. And if I don't decide to use that money for games, then I can just allocate it somewhere else in my budget. Okay, so I'm going to just tally up to make sure that I have the correct amounts here. So 961, and then this side has 1361 is 1370. Okay, so that's exactly what I should have. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of my tally marks. And um, what usually happens here, I'll just do the top part. So for my expenses, um, I'm going to do 100, 200, 80, 90, 95, and 300. And I like to do smaller denominations in my expense envelopes in case I need to make change for anything. Um, so fuel is going to get, well, except for fuel, because, you know, that's just going to get 20s. And then my food fund, I'll probably do, let's see, 60. 70, 75, 80. For miscellaneous, I'll do 40, 50, 55, and 60. And then um, that way I have ones and fives in case I need to make change for anything. And then the rest of my categories just get um, denominations to total the amount that I need with the fewest number of bills. Okay, so like giving will get 100 a 50, a 10, and a 5, because that's the fewest number of bills I can get to make 165. So I'm going to go ahead and do all the rest of that, and then um, we'll be right back, and we'll do all my totals to see where I am. Okay, hold, please. Okay, I'm back. Uh, what I did, one little change that I made over here, for my Mini Mondays and my Faith Fridays, 
I was pulling out fives because I play with ones. Um, if you're familiar, how many Monday, how many Mondays work? I do my Faith Fridays in the same way, um, and I play with ones. And then at the end, when I'm counting back. I trade out my ones for fives so that my envelopes don't get too thick. But what I'm finding is that um, when I pulled my revolving savings challenges from my mini Monday binder and stuffed my um, the regular sinking fund envelopes, they were still really thick because there were a lot of fives. So this go around, rather than pulling out fives, I'm pulling out 20s and 10s so that when I play, hopefully I'll be able to buy back my fives with my tens and twenties if that makes sense so um stay tuned for mini mondays because i'm gonna try and see how that works so um that was the only change i made other than that everything got the lowest number of bills possible fewest number of bills possible um except for my games my games i also pulled out lower denominations in case i decide to play games so all that to say is i have now um I need 40 ones and that's $40. Oops. I need 26 fives and that's 130. I need 20 tens and that's 200. I need 25 twenties and that's 500. I need four fifties and that's 200 and three hundreds and that's 300. So if I tally these all across now this way, 300 plus 200 plus 500 plus 200 plus 130 plus 40 is 1,370, which is what I should have here um, to pull out of the bank in cash. So I will just get a little teller slip here from my little, my little stash. And then um, we will get... Um, three hundreds for three hundred. We will get four fifties for two hundred. We will get twenty-five twenties for five hundred. We will get twenty tens for two hundred. We will get twenty-six fives for one hundred thirty, and we will get forty ones for forty dollars. So let's just make sure 300, 200, 500, 200, 130, and 40, 1,370. Okay, so that is what I'm going to be pulling from the bank when I go tomorrow. Um, oh no. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think we have a pretty good budget going on here. Um, I think it's going to work out a lot better, um, me budgeting for my uh, revolving sinking funds rather than having them tied up in a mini Monday. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, I'm still going to see how it goes with playing games. Is that something you guys would watch? Leave a comment down below. Um, like I said, I would like to incorporate it on a regular basis. Um but I'm still pondering it. But in the meantime, I've pulled money aside. So would you like to see games on my channel, like the little scratcher games um, or anything like that? Let me know. And then um, also as a reminder, all of these worksheets are in my Etsy shop and my Etsy shop is in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out. I have some savings challenges on there as well. Um, and yeah, that is going to do it for me today, you guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. Again, check out the description box for the link to my Etsy shop. And um, thank you guys so much for being here. If you like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up on your way out. I would love to have you subscribe to my channel and join me as I upload videos. And again, thank you guys so much for being here. I will see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah.